We're here with the author of Prequel, An American Fight Against Fascism, Rachel Maddow. Mike Johnson, we just found out minutes before you walked out here, a uh, new, new Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, has passed uh, the funding bill. And uh, with help from Democrats, it went like this. It went 336 to 95, uh, 93 Republicans against it, two Democrats against it. Now, this is the kind of deal that lost Kevin McCarthy his job. All but two Democrats in support of the Republican bill. Right. I think really? just the idea of there being a continuing government was what they were voting for, is my guess. Mm -hmm. um, do you think he's going to pay a price from this? What do, you, what do you know about his position as opposed to Kevin McCarthy's? Because this is the kind of bill that sank Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. What, is, what, do you, what would I do to you? <laughs> I, I, I'm sure Mr. Johnson is very smart. <laughs> and... <laughs> capable <laughs> and knows exactly what he's doing. Uh -huh. But he got this job because the previous guy was driven out with pitchforks and torches for having had the temerity to speak to political opponents rather than just wishing them dead. <laughs> and now he needs his political opponents in order to keep his, his job. Like, I just, we all know how this ends. Um, this is not a party that is trying to govern. Um, and we are, we're faced with this larger project right now in our politics, which is that one side under the Republican Party's leader is trying to say, you know, my political opponents don't deserve to live. I shouldn't be subject to elections. I should just have power and rule and use the government to crush my enemies and get revenge. And the Democrats are like, we'd like to talk about white rail and <laughs> some foreign, balanced foreign policy perspectives on attacking, you know. Like, Democrats are still treating this like it is a governing project, and it is really, the two parties are doing two very different things. And so now we are going to keep the government open. It is because the Democrats came to the rescue and said that we should. But this is the Republican Party still not even wanting to keep the government going because they don't believe that governance is what we need in this country. They believe we want a strongman form of government under a guy who just says what, hap what he wants and it happens. And it, it, the stakes are really high right now, and it's just depressing to see what's happening in Congress. Rachel, last question. Yeah. How do we get out of this mess? <laughs> No pressure. Well put, well put. No pressure. I mean, the, the big picture answer um, is if you are trying to defend democracy, you only have one arrow in your quiver. You only have one weapon, and that is democracy. You cannot fight an anti-democratic movement with anti-democratic means. You have to treat your fellow Americans like human beings. You have to fight against scapegoating and toxic conspiracy theories that are trying to make you think that your fellow Americans are not worthy of participating in a democracy with you. You need to beat people at the, poll at the polling place. And you need to make sure that the public knows the truth about this stuff. You need activism and journalism. And you need to not be scared of people who are trying to use violence to intimidate us out of this process. It's just, it's small d democratic commitment. And we need it more than we've ever needed it this year. Rachel, thank you so much. Thank you. Her new book, Prequel, is out now. Rachel Maddow, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Gracie Abrams.